Hi everyone, it's Billy in the arena. Day 45. We're almost halfway there. Holy smokes, this has gone by super fast. Um, and you know what, I'm getting really into like the habit of doing this now. It's actually um, something that's kind of easy. When I first started, I was like, man, this is a lot of work. Oh my god, I'm like being emotional in front of people. Oh my god, my life's gonna be over. But you know what? It's okay. And I'm I'm actually not as uh scared to be emotional. Hi Adrian. I'm not as as scared to be vulnerable and emotional, if that makes any sense. It still freaks the crap out of me, don't get me wrong. Hi Miranda, as you know. Um but it's not as um daunting. Like it's still it's still hard, but it's not as uh, scary, if that makes any sense. So today I was thinking about what am I going to talk about? Um, I have like 10 minutes before I got to go hit physio. Um, and breathe came to me, which is easier in Canada. Um, it's called breathe in the States. Uh, there's a couple different names of the oils because of copywriting. Um, but in, anyways, in Canada, it's called easier. And this is the respiratory blend. Um, basically like the natural Vicks Vapor Rub. And I kind of was drawn to it because I had this sitting on my on my dresser. This is the Breathe Vapor Stick and it's basically like a um, kind of like one of those free, like vapor sticks not to stick up your nose but just to rub on your chest when you're congested and you know my kids were a little congested and, and runny and it is the season um, and this is what I use to rub on them now instead of that crappy Vicks Vapor Rub like literally oops my finger's on Normally I have my eye watch on and I don't have it on today. I forgot to leave or leave the house with it. Um, but mostly I used to always use Vicks Vapor Rub because that's what we grew up with, right? That's what our parents put on us, put the socks on, breathe it in, put it, you know, cover your face in steam and breathe it in and holy smokes, that was like, we didn't know it's, uh, hi Lindy, we've got, it's got like turpentine in it, hygrosine, it's got uh, petroleum products in it, toxic, right? And we're putting this on our children. And that's what I used to do with, with Sajin when he was a little baby. That's what I put. I put the Vicks Vapor Rub on him. Um, and I didn't know any better because the label said baby. So I'm like, okay, if London Drugs is selling this as baby, that means it must be safe for baby. But was I ever wrong? There's a lot of things sold on the shelves that are absolutely toxic for you. But the government allows it. So I'm not going to get into a big rant about all that because it, it disturbs me the more I watch these documentaries on things it, it really disturbs me like sometimes I'm wondering like what can we eat and drink and wear and breathe and you like it's yeah anyways so this it was on my uh, dresser because I was using that along with the the scent the sifting the cells protocol um, and this one when I went to Nepal in May really saved my life because I have something called reactive airways disease that which means that I'm way more prone to um, lung uh, conditions like bronchitis, laryngitis. Um, I don't really have asthma, but I do have a hard time. Um, like I get, I get out of breath easy. Um, so like anytime I go hiking, like altitude, it really affects me. Um, and I have something called thalassemia, which I found out when I was a flight attendant, um, which basically means like kind of your, your blood cells are shaped a little differently. So they don't absorb oxygen as, as good. And when you're kind of work in, in the sky you kind of need that a little bit um so that's when I learned about that so sometimes I find I get a lot of I get winded a lot so I took this with me and I think I went through the, a bottle like right away but I was basically in my scarf just putting some in there or I would just put it straight on my hand and just inhale it and get some more oxygen um to my lungs because it actually opens up your airways so the uh, a lot of, like I said, the oils that are in here are all for opening your respiratory system. So Laurel Bay, which I don't really know what that is. We don't have that by itself. So that's just a part of this. Eucalyptus. Everyone knows what eucalyptus. Peppermint, of course. Um, tea tree, because it helps cleanse it. Lemon uh, for detoxing. Cardamom. Raven Sarah and Ravent Sarah. Again, not two oils we ever have by themselves, but they're in this blend. So, of course, I, I look it up. In the emotions book right and I, I swear to god like okay I'm gonna start crying now because when I read this I was like oh holy shit like the oils are almost never wrong when it like comes to the emotional part of it 
And I'm going to try to read this without crying, and it's not going to work because I'm already crying. Okay, so obviously the oil breathe is the oil of breath. So breath breathe addresses the inability to let go of grief and pain. Individuals in need of breathe or easy air struggle to breathe and literally feel suffocated by sadness. And I've been feeling this a lot lately, like a lot of heaviness on my chest. Um, almost like to the point where I was having difficulty breathing a couple times, but I just needed to open up my airways. I was in my car. Usually when, you know, when you're sitting there reveling in your thoughts by yourself, that's usually when stuff happens. Um, and I had my citrus bloom that I talked about yesterday, so that kind of helped. But yeah, that um, that heaviness on your chest is really kind of a lot of like the pressures, um, the stresses, like it depends, like people carry it diff differently. I carry it a lot on my chest and in my throat. Um, kind of those like chakras. Um, I don't know too much about chakras, but when I do learn about it, it's like, yeah, that makes about sense. So, um, the lungs and air passages become constricted, preventing air and emotion from releasing. So not only is it not letting your, your, your air in, it's not letting go of all this like stress and sadness and fear and pain, whatever it is that you're feeling. The root of this, of this condition is feeling unloved. Individuals grieve the love they never received. They often shut down to fear, not knowing whether the love they need will be there. <sighs> they distrust, distrust whether it's safe to open and take in life. So breathe encourages individuals to release grief and sadness and to not, and to receive genuine love and healing. So... I mean, I don't know what else I can say. Like, breathe is my friend right now. Sometimes you just got to stop and breathe, right? Take it in. Let the oxygen come in. Let the carbon dioxide and the shit leave. Oops, I mean the crap leave. And um, just take every moment as it comes. Because that's all we can do, right? Is take every moment as it comes. So breathe is definitely my friend. Um... It uh, imbues individuals with courage to fully open. So, you know what? I don't know um, about you guys, but courage is kind of a big thing. That's part of this, right? What'd you say, Adrian? Send you guys the chakras can be oh, it moved, blocked, and breathe is so wonderful. Yeah, I don't know much about chakras. I actually bought a book about them, and I want to learn because it talks about different oils for the different chakras. So I might do start learning a little bit more about the protocols for those, but. Um, I really want to uh, use these more for emotional support because they, man, have they been helping me. Most people, not most, some, um, can't get over stress and then they turn to meds. Um, and I personally am not one to take meds, as you know even more so now so I I mean again I'm gonna put this out there there's a place for Western medicine there's a place Lee Freiling talked about it at the post convention tour that she needed medication to phys like chemically balance whatever was happening and then she could use the oils to support it but if I don't have to even get to that point of that chemical imbalance where I need like intervention um, and I can just use the oils to kind of help keep the the balance or like the homeostasis of my brain, um, then I'm definitely surely going to go reach for this before I reach for something else in a pill bottle. So yeah, anyways, I gotta get going. I've got physio in 10 minutes. Um, so I will see you back here tomorrow. Day 40, today's 45, almost at 50, almost halfway there. Anyways, thanks to listening to my, uh, my sobs today. Um, Again, like I said, it's not as hard as, it's not as embarrassing. That's why I want to say it. It's not as embarrassing because before I'm always embarrassed to cry and it's not because I hope people understand it. And if I reach out to one person, then it was worth it. So Lindy says, I can't get over my stresses and don't want meds. That's why I'm trying oils right now with you. Yeah. I mean, like. If I can support you and help you with that, then by all means, I'm here for you. And again, part of this is to show people that maybe you 
if it could work for somebody else, it could possibly work for me. And I don't know. This is uncharted territory for me. I'm, I have not really ever been an oil person. I have never used essential oils in my life. So this is all new territory for me, but I know that it's working. And, you know, some people will argue, well, it's, maybe it's just your thinking is making you feel better. But if it's think making me think I'm feeling better, then really it's working, isn't it? So I don't care if placebo or what, if it's not physically having effect on me and it's just mentally making me think I do, then it's still a win because I'm still being able to be a mom and be a cop and be a wellness advocate and be me. So, you know, a lot of meds, I've seen a lot of people on meds, they just, like it almost dies, their personality dies off because it numbs you. So who wants to go through life being numb? Not me, but anyways. Okay, I gotta go. Yes, talk to you later.